Okay, everyone, welcome back to Broken Crescent mod for Medieval 2. And this is the faction that you voted for, the Kingdom of Georgia, up there in the white. So that should show up quite clearly. Looks like we have four regions. Um, there's a lot to read through. You probably don't want me to read through all that. You probably just want me to get started. Um, now, I have played as Georgia. But that was literally five years ago before I even had the channel and in a different version. But what I do remember is it being very tough. Uh, basically killing off these rebel factions or settlements around us. Um, just trying to break out before we could even get to uh, any real enemies. That's what I remember. So we put it on very hard, very hard. And... Um, no, we're not doing 60 region, are we? We're doing 20. So we have to take out the Kipchaks, which is that dark blue. And this faction, um, right there, the Atabegs. All right. Oh, nice little intro video there. Somebody made that. I guess one of the modders. Now, we have just reached 1400 subscribers, I think. And I think we have. Uh, so that's great, but we could always do with more subscribers. Don't hold back. Again, that's a vast amount to read. All right, if I put it there, you can pause or scroll at your own leisure up to about there and then up to there right we got 15k in our treasury now um, some people have been commenting on the last campaign we did and uh, which was a few weeks ago and I've been telling them how much money these merchants can make a ridiculous amount Obviously not there, but he could make 730 on turn one. Now merchants do cost, I think, a thousand or is it 1500? They cost a lot. Now, let's see, are we at war with anyone? We are at war with the Atabegs, actually. We do have a family tree. He's not married. So we can perhaps get a marriage license, uh, alliance. Uh, you'll be coming of age soon. What agents do we have? Merchant, Patriarch, Spy and Diplomat. Do we have any ships? I doubt it. No. Nope. So the Atabegs are somewhere around here, aren't they? So, come on down. In fact, they're very close, aren't they? Very close indeed. What I would like to do is get access to the Caspian Sea. And we do have access to the Black Sea. At uh, Sukumi and Kutaisi. Very familiar with Kutaisi. It's in many, many um, Medieval 2 mods. Right, you're not getting free upkeep, are you? None of those are getting free upkeep. Alright, that'll get you 128. Did we see anything over here? 652. Alright. Where is that other one? There's a resource there, isn't there? It looks like wine. Or a watchtower. Alright. Don't know about that one. Let's... Let's go to the gold mines. Let's have you come down and do some scouting. 
So there's a rebel settlement there. But there is an Atabeg settlement there. What's your garrison like? Three, six units. That looks like a solid infantry unit. You can't put down stakes. Right. We are going to go after this settlement. We've got a lot of spears and archers ourselves. Right. <clears throat> uh, Vishap warriors and Armenian cavalry auxiliary. We're actually going to be losing money, are we? We do have another general there with some cavalry. We're not particularly happy. We can drop that down and get your troops out. There's a diplomat there. There should be some uh, Romans there. I'm sure they go for the trade, but I don't know about our alliance. They went for it. Probably won't go for that. Oh, they did. He's rank 3. That was nice. Let's get those ones out. That put you in the blue. Now, the buildings are quite expensive in this mod, but you do generally make a lot of money. See, roads, dirt roads, 4K. Now, you can't actually do anything until you get some infantry in your army. I can put them under siege. Right, what we want to do, if we can get any more diplomats, we can. Yep, 1000. We don't seem to be able to get any troops around there. Here we can get a lot of troops. As Nari Lancers, Georgian Horse Archers. It was a 1600, 15, 18, 15. Some good swordsmen. Um, what about our spearmen? Because we'd need somebody to defend as well. Can't get anyone over there. Right, what are we going to do with the 12k that we've got left? Well, you don't have access to a single unit. Why? Do we really have to upgrade just to get some units? Only 200. Apparently so. Same way over here, access to no units. Would we even need the listers at the moment? Alright, that would give us a couple of uh, extra units. I think we're going to get most of our units from over there. I mean, we're going to lose money, aren't we? Hmm. I really want to spend that money then. That'll take two turns. That'll take one. That'll take two turns. There we go. Spent most of the money. So we'll have some extra units coming over. I don't know if we'll get a battle in this one, but we'll try. Yeah, so this campaign, you guys vote on it, the subscribers. Because that's the benefit of being a subscriber. Very small benefit, but still. Translator, okay. Oh, 
could have gone and talked to the, him there. Oh, he's going to come after me. Well, there's a resource. It's only 79, but we'll get him moving around. There's the Atabex. I wonder if we could get out of our war with him. Just rejected. Okay. We will get more map info. Alright, so we got two more diplomats and a merchant. A merchant, I tell you. I mean, that one, we could raise the taxes now, can we? Would that get us out of debt? Nope, we're going massively in debt. We're going to have to make use of what we've got. My Lord. Uh, we'll probably get trade with them. Oh, there's some population as well. Alright, try to find a princess. Now there's some Armenians down here. In fact, there they are. Okay. Well, we're going to drop into debt. This one can hold. Seven turns, five turns. I could send them over there to convert them, cause trouble for them. Three of those buildings will start to get constructed. But we're going to be massively in debt. We will accept him. Put us even more in debt. Revolution in Egypt. Uh, right. He did not talk to us, but let us talk to them. I will seek a temporary alliance with them, which they're not going for. Right, that's worth a little more. Let's talk to the Latins. Right, you keep an eye on them. One down. Now we're taxing them as much as we can. We did get the merchants' wharf up, and we got more trade. Uh, so that's not. Terrible. Um, Agulani horsemen, I don't know how good those ones are. Alright. We've got all cavalry in there. I don't think there was anyone else to move, was there? Sorry about my neighbour's blasted roosters. There's nothing I can do about them. They just let them run free all over the neighbourhood. Uh, you can literally find them anywhere in the neighbourhood any time of the day. 
So we'll get some military units. Not that we actually want those military units. We'll need them. That was convenient to have him there. So we'll probably just get rid of them. Two units of Droman. Ah, oh, what do we need Dromans for? And how much do they cost? Don't need them. No, there should be the Abbasids. Who do we have there? The Atabegs and Zingids. That's an Abbasid. That was the last campaign I did, wasn't it? The Abbasids. Do you want to go over that wall with him? Alright, we've got the Levitana done. Where's that new general? Right there. Put him in there. I think it's actually going down, isn't it? Right, there's an Abbasid merchant there. Ready to trade. Only 25% chance against him. Right, we are converting them slowly. Right, we know we're getting more hair than we did up there. <laughs> but I'm sure we can find something even better for him. Somewhere. At some point, a couple more trade agreements, and we might be out of debt. Down to three hundred. Just reject it. If we can get him to rank up a little more, we might be able to get out of it. Zingids are going up over there. Should bump into some Egyptians. Somewhere around here. Nothing else to do. Alright, that's up to 44%. Four turns, two turns. Alright, looks like we'll get the battle there. Ah, and I forgot about you. There are two Russian factions up there. Or proto-Russian factions. Yeah, depending on how you look at it. The, um... Well, one of them is the Bulgars, but the other one is Vladimir Suznow. I don't know if they're actual Bulgars. Right, now, do we come down here and look for Mercuria, or do we come along the coast? Well, we've got the other chap coming along. But then again, we can't really trade with Mercuria in any way. We can get the trade agreement. Keep moving. Got a thousand gold. That doesn't count. Right, don't forget about him. Now I've got to remember where they are. There's somewhere up here. Well, we did get the dirt roads.
Yeah, I can see where that diplomat is. He's in the area of green, which I think is Vladimir Suznal. Now, let's see how tough they are on. Very hard, very hard. What's your bodyguard? Gulum Lancers. <clears throat> Bring our people honor and glory. We shall see. Beautiful units. Oh, he's a uh, cavalry, isn't he? Missile cavalry. Shoot them down. Shoot them boys down. Right, the Aguilani's are heavy cavalry. Now we know. Right, you're out on the left flank, so are you. Didn't realise my general was a missile cavalry. Royal Monaspa Guard. Probably pronounced that wrong, but. Right, he's going to be able to get some charging going on. Kill 5%. That wasn't a particularly good charge in there, was it? No. It says there was a light. All right. Now you're supposed to be heavy cavalry. Well, they caught up to him, which isn't good because I might lose a general right at the start. Draw them away. Use your mass to push through. Oh, the Agalani's are pushing through. He got caught again. They're all over him, aren't they? Hopefully, you can outrun them. Right, the other one's been caught up though. But those ones are not firing. Ah, they're now coming out of the gate. Why is he getting killed off? They must be very good at catching up to him. But it seems like he's actually getting shot. It is unwise to praise the day before sunset, but our men are winning the battle and forging a worthy victory. I want all of them up there. I don't want to lose him. Get inside the settlement. They're all over him. Leave him alone. I'm sure he's still firing at them. You, get into the town centre. Yes, we have. Well, it looks like one unit's going to try to get in. In fact, one of our men is still outside. Silly Billy. Right, speed it up. Why you can't catch up to a me? Kill him, I don't know. The walls are no longer ours. Right. The enemy have taken them. Have they now? 
Spearman. Not a great matchup, but a minute and a half. That's how long you have to hold them. Use your mass. That's it. Break up their formation. We are shaken. It is unwise to praise the day before sunset, but our men are winning the battle and forging a worthy victory. Forty seconds. Perfectly legit to do that. Nope, he caught up to him. Ah, we got it. We lost only 77 men. Only 77. Alright, Ganja. All right, no jokes, no jokes, please. That's what it says, Ganja. All right. Uh, we can get some good money. We can get out of debt. We're now out of debt. Take rural settlement, Annie. Maybe we will, maybe we won't. Maybe we will, maybe we won't. Resistance is never futile. And where is that settlement? There it is. Vladimir Suzdal. Alright, I go find them Bulgars. Where is he? Rebels. Okay. Making 1300 off of it. Boost their taxes. Oh, there's absolutely nothing in there. That would get us no units whatsoever. Nothing going on, nothing going on. Next turn, that can hold out for two more. Next turn we'll be able to start getting some more buildings. 49%. So we'll start the next episode with the other siege. Trying to pick those up. Oh, wait. No, we don't have to go west. We have to come there to find the bulk of Bulgars. Ah, we're not paying that. Keep moving. There's a Mercurian settlement right about there. And there should be some Kermans around here. So we won't get any units in there. We can't get any units in here, I guess, until we upgrade. That's rather disappointing. Not even any basic spearmen. Alright, what can we do? Is that going to bring us any money? Apparently not. A lot of religious unrest up there. I 
That doesn't go up by much either. Six seventy five. I think that's the best use of the money. It'll take a few turns to build up. Okay, so we're going to finish it right there and start the next episode with that battle. We might be able to join some troops up and then go for Nikijavan and then Tabriz. Probably need to send you up there to see if they did in fact take that settlement. But thank you for watching episode one of the Georgian campaign that you voted for. <laughs>